Welcome back, Power BI fans. And today we are going to combine CSV files with Power Query using Power BI. A lot of times with marketing, you get updated monthly files and people are manually cutting and pasting these files and then pasting them into one giant spreadsheet. This is very time consuming. And I'm gonna show you a quick way to combine CSV files just by hitting a refresh button on Power BI. In this example, we have a test folder, and inside this test folder, we have three files, June, July, and August. I'm gonna show you one of those files. We have test one, test two, and test three for campaign. This is, is a report from Google AdWords that shows by campaign, the clicks, impressions, and click-through rate, costs, things like that. So I've substituted out the campaign names for this purpose. I've got three months of data and we wanna get more data added every single month without having to cut and paste the information into a master spreadsheet. At this point is go into Power. Once you're in Power BI, you're gonna to go to Get Data and you're gonna go from folder. When you connect to the folder, which for me is on my desktop, and I have it labeled as a test folder, you're gonna hit the OK button. Then you're gonna hit transform data. Your Power Query editor will open up the first thing I always do in Power Query is name my query, Power BI Test. At that point, we are going to remove, right click and remove other columns. And now we're gonna expand out the query and we are gonna load this, combine files. Now, if you look at your campaign, we have test one, test two, test three, and then test one, test two, and test three, three times. That's for June, July, and August. And that's all we need to do. All we're gonna do now is close and apply. And to test how this works, we're gonna make a measure called total impressions. And that equals the sum of all the impressions, the card for it. And currently we have 91,000 total impressions. Now to make this easier, if you go to the file for September, in this example, we have test one with 5,000 impressions and test three with 5,000 impressions and test two with zero impressions. So that's a total of 10,000 impressions. What we are going to do is, is move the September file. All of a sudden you get an email with the September data. You move this into your test folder. We go back to Power BI. To do if you had this file already saved would be to just hit the refresh button. Since we are adding 10,000 impressions, this should now go to 101,000 impressions and it automatically updates to the total impressions of 101,000 impressions. File, and then next month, when you get the new file of information, you just drop it into your folder, open up Power BI, and then hit refresh. That's how you combine CSV files with Power Query and Power BI.